What's going on guys, a friend right here, Modern Warfare 2 got boring, so here we are. Back on Vanguard Zombies, because this is more fun at the moment. I understand how that sounds, but hear me out, alright? As much as I like the fact that shipment's still in the game for Modern Warfare 2, you can't deny that the fact it's been there if it's long, just gets super repetitive. And I haven't touched Vanguard Zombies since Modern Warfare 2 came out. So for me, it's kind of like a refresher. It gives me a break from shipment just for a little bit, I'm only gonna do it's one, I'm not gonna do everything. I say that now, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just need a break from shipment 24-7, that's just getting too much. Burned out's the right word, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. It's not fatigue, it's burned out. And to be honest with you guys, Vanguard Zombies from a camo grinder perspective isn't that bad. It's very boring and tedious but it isn't all that bad. It's very simple and straightforward. And if you do it a certain way, you can keep yourself from falling asleep, which I did during the Dark Ether grind a couple times. Doing all this live on Twitch definitely helps if you want to stop by at all. I probably won't be playing Vanguard, but I will play Modern Warfare 2. Or other games like Cold War, Modern Warfare 19, or even just not Call of Duty Relief. It's basically anything, so. Want to stop by? Links in the description as per usual. But anyway, yeah, I got a pattern down on this game where I can get guns gold within like two, two and a half hours. We'll get that accurate first try, nice. Somehow, that's actually my second most viewed video of all time time is my tutorial on how to get guns gold as quick as possible. I don't know why, but it is. I mean, I guess I understand why, but at the same time, why? Why is Vanguard Zombies, the one video besides this one that I made of Vanguard Zombies ever, my second most viewed video of all time? Follow only behind a minute long tutorial on Rocket League. I think I'm noticing a trend here. But yeah, following that method, which I did for the majority of the Dark Aether grind, also the DLC grind, which, by the way, we are 100% atomic and Dark Aether across all the launch of DLC weapons. I only need one more gun atomic, and I need, like, probably 10 plus for Dark Aether. I haven't checked my spreadsheet in a while. Yes, I do have a spreadsheet. I've had it since Black Ops Cold War, so it comes in handy. The original plan was to get every single weapon charm in that Ultimate Mastery and then come back to Vanguard, and then go back to Cold War. I already beat an entirety model for 19 if you didn't see me unlock the weapon Grandmaster, so I'm good at that game, but Cold War is selling Dark Matter and Dark Ether and some stuff. And I'm not going anything older than Modern Warfare 19, because Modern Warfare 19 is my first ever Call of Duty, but I fully grinded. I bought BO4, but I didn't like BO4, so I just never bothered to grind a game. Right now, I'm doing that Dark Ether method, but condensed in half. Essentially, what that means is I'm taking that format, but I'm just like cutting it into two games, where I get 2,000 kills a game. So that way, I can do 2,000 kills one day, 2,000 kills another day. Because by the time I get to round 9 harvest, where I'm just going to sit there and farm the next 2,000 kills without doing anything else, and I would just literally be sitting like here for example for a whole hour or i could do it for like 10 minutes and then come back to it another day and just do this what i'm doing here and it splits up the grind a little bit it's not as efficient since you gotta redo this whole section again but i will happily take this over sitting there for an hour straight doing nothing but that which i did that on the original dark ether grind but going back to it i don't think i could do that especially the whole point switch back to this was to keep my sanity i'm not gonna be doing myself a huge favor if i'm gonna be driving myself insane for over an hour just staying in one spot but yeah in some twisted psychotic if you want to call it way this is almost like therapeutic to me i don't know why it's just a chill experience don't have to deal with skill-based matchmaking or jump shotting flashbang actually i'm curious let me look at my spreadsheet here i need to do 13 more zombies including this one and a one more atomic. A few of them are melees, it's only taking an hour and a half instead of two and a half hours. So some of them are faster. But if I'm just gonna do this like every once in a while, like Modern Warfare it gets boring, this will be no problem at all. I won't even think about it, I'll just do it. I'm not really looking forward to going back to the multiplayer of this game. Even though it's just the EX1 to laser gun. I'm still not really looking forward to going back to multiplayer, but I'm gonna get this, right? Am I? Oh, just barely, wow. Okay. Yeah, I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm just gonna skip ahead to when I actually get this Vindark Ether. Unless something interesting happens, of course. I doubt that will happen. Oh, that almost got me killed. What? Hey, it is all 100 booms. Now it's just storms and defaults. <laughs> I call them defaults, that's funny. Oh, God, wait. Okay, we're good. <laughs> okay. Wait, that melee to refresh attack sprint was a thing in Vanguard too? I swear people just found out about it in 22 thinking it was a bug. No, this has been a thing in Vanguard as well the whole time. No one said a word. Alright, I found my spots and I'm just gonna sit here and chill for the next like thousand more kills or so. I think I've realized why I like Vanguard zombies more than most people. It takes you two hours to get 4,000 eliminations. That's the equivalent of me doing a weapon charm on Modern Warfare 22. One charm every half an hour. But on the contrary, I only get like 100 kills every half an hour or 150 kills every half an hour. So I think it's just the amount of progress and the short amount of time I can make. That same way with Dark Metal Ultra versus Dark Ether. On Black Ops Cold War, you can make so much more progress on the zombies than a kind of multiplayer in terms of camo challenges. Well, let's get your weapons at level when you get zombies. No, for a Swiss K31, I remember specifically, I had leveled up in zombies, because I wasn't about to use the multiplayer until I got that damage increase barrel. Because without the damage increase barrels, it'll hit marker anywhere but like the neck or something like that. Something bad, like Caravan and World War II levels of weak damage. So once I got that uh, target team, was it, barrel? Target team barrel. Then I went over to multiplayer, got dark matter. 
there. But even still, I felt that zombies was faster. It's just faster to get more kills in here, because obviously it's NPCs. But still, my point still stands. I'm already getting bored of this. I'm ready to get back to Modern Warfare now. You know, if I'm ever having trouble going to sleep one of these days, you can just hop on this game and then I'll be falling asleep in no time. It's actually a good sleep remedy. Prep your chair back, and yeah, this is much better. Can't forget a pillow back here. And it's actually not bad. Let's also turn the audio all the way off. Yeah. Much better. Actually, if it's like a video, put the audio back on. If you're trying to sleep, I would say no audio. So YouTube's got a new system kind of, but you can earn just as much money off of regular videos as you do on shorts through advertisements and all that. And if that's working how I think it's going to work, and I think it's going to be awesome. As long as the algorithm stays the same, where randomly some will get 100 views, some will get 5,000 views, just depends on what you make. And sometimes it doesn't even matter. I made a Grand Theft Auto short. I have to not post a Grand Theft Auto ever in my life, and I got 2,000. So if it doesn't matter, and the algorithm gives it like 5,000 views, and I get paid as if it was a full length 5,000 video and that's gonna be really good i don't know when this video is going up i just found out today so oh forgot to get spawned behind me and there we go hey dark keeper so exciting Woo. I can go to sleep, yeah. Honestly, I'm more excited about getting off this game than I am. In fact, it got done. <laughs> to be fair, if I was a nice change of pace from Modern Warfare 22 and just shipment 24-7 for three or four weeks in a row. And there you go. And see, so, yeah, about an hour. That's about what I said it would take. What's no limit shipment? You're kidding. What? Blitz team deathmatch without a scope. Oh my god. So it goes to a time limit, no matter how many kills you get, you get 500 kills. Oh my god. That's awesome. That's that's awesome, actually. I might actually give it a shot after this. But <laughs> For anyone who cares, this is what Gold Viper looks like on it. Compared to other guns, it's more accent color than primary. And remember my Ruby camo that I got leaked a couple months before the game's launch? Well, if you didn't connect that already, that's what this is. It's not that I never got add the multiplayer that was never a multiplayer master. And this is what Plague Diamond looks like. It, eh, eh. I kind of like the pink, but I'm not the biggest fan of the diamond specs, like the actual diamonds themselves. And the one that you all care about are most of you. None of you, maybe. Dark Aether. More accent than primary, but on Dark Aether it doesn't look that great. Dark Aether is a little bit overhated. It's definitely the worst of the past like four years worth of my series, but it's not bad. It's not that bad. Especially in-game, it's a lot better. I don't know, I could just be biased because I have it, but I don't know. I'm trying to convince myself subconsciously that it's good. It's not really good, but it is alright. I mean, it's alright. Anyway, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this. If you did, drop a like, subscribe. Let me know if you want me to do more of these in the future. I am getting 100% Dark E for DLCs, but just let me know if you want to see more videos made on them. Also, I'll be making posts whenever I get Dark Eathers on TikTok, as well as streaming the grind on Twitch, so if you want to see it at all and I don't make videos on it, then those two options are your best bets. And yeah, I will see you all in the next one. Peace.